on board here, board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> Wait. Who? I see you've gotten closer to your goal of being a hero. Wait, who? Wait, yes. I remember. Martha. It's good to see you again. Though, this isn't how I pictured our reunion. Yeah, you're in my head. Yeah, yes. It was necessary, or else you were going to kill the number one hero. Uh, I didn't. I, wait. That wasn't... I didn't mean... I know. It's... It's... Natural. For someone to get so into a fight that they lose all reason. It's... <laughs> but at the very least... You didn't. I mean, you probably gave him quite a fright. All things considered. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, are you with... It's... Complicated. What? You see... You know who want to... Uh, show dominance again. What? Yeah. He's trying to subjugate us. Those who don't listen. Uh, no, no. Wait, so you're... Yes. I was going to reincarnate, but he stopped me. <laughs> How are you... <sighs> Are you that dense? I helped you beat him before, didn't I? Uh, you mean when you... Yeah, why well, gave you some power to give you that boost? <laughs> yeah, that, it's kind of like a piece of me was with you. I hope you don't mind. Uh, uh, I, 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 well, I, it's not that I mind, it's just I would have. Uh, <laughs> uh, you are just too easy to tease. Uh, but I. <sighs> Either way. Sadly, this is going to be the only way we can communicate. What about Yuzuko? A human vessel? He'll be fine. This won't kill him. He's not just a vessel. He and I are one sentient being. We share a consciousness, though we are two souls. I know, I know. If anything, let's just say he's going to have a lot of explaining to do, so you might want to have a little chat with him. But, so, what do we... Where do we go from here? 
You're gonna have to rebuild the device. Oh, wait. What? But I don't... <sighs> Listen. We... We can't beat him. Not like this. We need to be together. Kong is... Wait, no, don't tell me he's... No, not yet. Yet? You know, he's stubborn as hell. Ugh. So, you're trusting me to rebuild that device of yours. And what? Bring us back. What? We... <sighs> you have to face him. And this time, make it so he doesn't come back. But uh, how do I do that? You know he can absorb my energy by biting me, right? He's done it before, and yes, I know. Low down tactic, but it works. If anything, I suggest think of a strategy that works, and hopefully by the time you complete this device, there's something left to save. Well, uh, where's your... Just in case some nonsense is going to go down, I left uh, some blueprints. How wait, 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 wait. How did you do this again? I mean, we are giant. I, I know. Don't question it. Let's just say you aren't the only, you and Kong are the only ones who had smaller allies. <laughs> Very well. So, I get these blueprints, and what? Lock on to my corpse and send me there. What? Yeah. That may be the only way for us to reconnect without being in this poor boy's head. Uh, wait, we, we could. I. What? Wait, 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 wait. Re reconnect? You, you mean. Get your mind out of the gutter. Please? Uh. <clears throat> right. Uh. <clears throat> so. Uh. Seriously. So I get to see you again? Yes. But I can honestly say I am going to need a new body. I <laughs> can't really reincarnate myself if I didn't plan ahead enough. What? Wait, so you're asking me to find me a suitable vessel, I guess? Like you did with this young Midoriya boy. Uh, but that was a complete and total accident. He wasn't even supposed to be there. I know. But maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. All that matters is <sighs> wait, wait, what's going on? Why are you fake? He's waking up. Of course. He I mean 
It took a lot of concentration to knock you out, especially from so far away. But so this is this isn't goodbye. It, it's more like till we meet again. In other words, don't do anything stupid before I get there. Anything more stupid. As Izuku wakes up, and he's probably like, wait, what happened? <sighs> yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay, but... Wait, why am I chained up? As in all my... Wait, who are you talking to, Yamadoria? Um, myself? Really? That seems very intriguing. Would you like to, for me to join in the conversation? I, uh, I, um, I just, I... You're hiding something from me and not just me everyone what I yes you feel like this secret you're keeping from us is that important that you keep it from the number one hero yes mr. all might hmm well, why not I give you a secret of mine? Him debuffing and him explain one for all. Izuku pretty much like, what the hell? You were quirkless? Yes, of course. I was. Then he gets the whole run down with one for all, all for one. And then he just right asks, did someone give you this quirk? Uh, no. Are you sure? You haven't seen anyone uh, in these descriptions or anything? Like, no. He said, you have to get started that we tell them the truth. But are you sure? Yes. You didn't have to share the secret with us or anyone for that matter but how hmm. let me try something as then Izuku starts glowing as <laughs> this holographic version of Godzilla's head just pops out from Izuku's chest and it's made a complete energy right now. And All Might is like, what the hell is this? It's Godzilla pretty much gets in the rundowns. I'm Godzilla. The real one. Uh -huh. Well, I understand that you may have questions. <coughs> a few, a few, yes. Very much so. Well, let me start at the beginning. Wait, so you were jumped? By a mechanized version of yourself? Yes. And... Wait, so Mothra... She... She wants to come here. And, but the only way for that to happen... I mean, she's dead, technically. But still alive somewhere, technically. It's, this is a lot to take in. Believe me, I think I felt when young Midoriya became my uh, quote-unquote vessel. It was not something I anticipated happening. Uh, uh, well, I understand that, yeah. 
Whew. This is a lot of information. I mean, but seriously, I mean, we celebrate you as a hero already, but it's... it's oh, I am so sorry for what. I mean, when you really think about it, you, you didn't have to do anything of what you've done. Could have just went on a rampage and yes, yes, I suppose I could have. But I would rather coexist than just pick a side and see how it goes. I've killed many people and kaiju you by accident. Some in self-defense, others. To protect. <sighs> However, the past is irrelevant at this point. We must focus on the future and do you know anyone who could possibly build such a device to bring back my <clears throat> my compatriot? Uh, I, I may know someone. Good. Now, if you don't mind, young Midoriya, if you would, huh? The chains. As all my is like, wait, wait, no, I have the keys. He zero just breaks out of it. Uh, wait, you could have. Oh yeah, I could have break them at any point. If anything, I just didn't want. to freaking one out or at least you know okay Whew. now about this compatriot of yours can you take me to the uh y yes of course um uh, but I do have a question um I suppose, uh, what would you like to know? Can I have your autograph? Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, what? You, you know, it's... <laughs> uh, you know, no one's going to believe that it's actually for me. Correct? Uh, well, I know that, but... <laughs> It really should mean a lot to me. Uh, yeah, you got Midoriya. Do you? It's like, it's fine with me. It's just, I never thought All Might would be like this, all gushy over. It's like, huh. I'm actually a kind of a fanboy too. I probably would have been, would be the same way. <laughs> Either way, you know, Armada gets his autograph and then they head off to I Island, in which David is skeptical over hearing what All Might said over the phone, but guys is more than happy to actually prove that All Might has now like, gone off his rocker. Upon hearing and seeing this, it's pretty much, and hey, you want more Kaiju to come over here. Yes. At least, just a select few. Okay. Okay. So. Pinpointing a corpse from another dimension may be difficult enough. But, from what you told me, Mothra is going to still need a vessel to inhabit. Did you think of that? Well, I... No. Because, don't get me wrong. I'm sure if there was anyone you could convince, they would be all for it. The only thing is, you still need to convince somebody that you're not crazy. And then again, we still need to get this thing built 
as well as make sure it's operational and you know otherwise nothing's gonna go as planned I understand that so what would you suggest Mr. Shield all I could really say is start looking for candidates but in the meantime you should we should get to work on this device at least make sure that it works hmm. very well if I think test it out on smaller kaiju that you know that you could apprehend or dispose of it at a moment's notice Wait, what <sighs> Well, I'm not always going to be here, so someone has to be able to take on the potential threat of a kaiju. But, I, I, do you really think we can... Hmm. Mr. Mai seems to have enough faith in your skills. As do I. Uh, really? Of course. Huh. I I um I don't know what just happened, but, but uh, uh thank you. Hmm. No, thank you for being able to help us in this endeavor. As they leave, David is still thrown back. He's like, oh my god, this is going to be crazy as hell. Now, back to UA. It's pretty much the whole thing where, yeah, you, we're going to have to close school down for a while. Oh yeah, by the way, sports festival. <laughs> You're exempt from a young Midoriya. Excuse me? You can't control your power. Yes, I can. I almost killed All Might. Almost killed a lot of, lot of villains. Almost killed the one who was orchestrating it. Uh, uh, well, I... You're not to take part in the sports festival. That is final. But, no buts. I've spoken. I don't care if you start growling. I can. As he remembers all my slow conversations, he's like, oh, wait, he doesn't have quirk. But then he's like, he has to keep up appearances to make sure that no one thinks to, uh, Hmm. Send him off to a lab. <laughs> uh, if I you won't have to worry about being, uh, what's the word? Noticed. Uh, are you really saying I. Yes. Fine. As the class just starts cheering, is he being salty? He's like, what the hell? Well, who side are you on? Like, the side that allows us to have a chance at winning. This ball goes like, oh, thank goodness. Doroki, indifferent. If anything, it's when Nezu shows up and just calls Izuku to his office. So, All Might has told me about your future plans. What? Don't worry, I know his secret as well, so you're in good company. I can keep a secret. It was not his secret to tell! I, I mean, you must understand. He didn't do it out of malice. He just wished 
just to make sure that you don't feel like you have to do this alone. <sighs> Very well. So, rodent. <laughs> you can call me Principal Nezu. Hmm. Very well, Principal Nezu. What do you wish to. Hmm, for that like bare word. Need my skills for. Well, have you heard of the new recent hero killer? I believe I heard tales. Yes. What of him? Well, we would like to apprehend him as soon as possible. And we would love to have your assistance. Hmm. I'm not sure. For one, I am technically still a student at this institution. Two, I still require somewhat of a license, I believe they're called. And though I am exempt from participating in a sports festival, that does not mean that I don't have other plans ahead. Well, think of it like this. We will be willing to give you a temporary provisional license. What? Yes. At very least, you'll be able to do hero work for as long as the hero killer is on the loose. However, you will not be allowed to attend classes until he is apprehended. What? What? Yes. <clears throat> Honestly, aren't you a clever little rodent? You put me in quite the bind here. You know how this boy wants to be a hero, so you're giving him a taste of it. But. Hmm. Interesting. You are quite clever. More than what people would expect from one of your species. Well, I am an animal with a quirk. And besides, we're not so different. Merlin, how would you figure? I, too, was mistreated by humans. Merlin, I guess I will explain that scar. <laughs> yes. A little memento from my uh, days before being who I am now. I went through a lot those years. By power through and became a stronger individual. Hmm. Yes, I can respect that. And instead of harboring complete and total hatred for humans. You are now running an institute in which you can train and warp young minds into becoming aspiring heroes. Correct. But I did gain this little kink. At least, what? Please explain. From why we've got an internet that may not mean what you think it means. Oh, I am fully aware. If anything, I find it a little satisfying to be a little uh, sadistic towards humans. At least at given times. 
Oh. Hmm. Hopefully you don't express such behavior around the students. <laughs> oh, time will tell, believe me. So, do we have a deal? I'm going to ask if I had a choice. Do I? You do. But you'll have to live with the fact that more heroes will die until your killer is uh, captured. <laughs> Very well. I accept your terms. Splendid! Now how about we have a nice cup of tea and relax? No, I have to get back to class. Your little summons has possibly damaged my reputation as a good boy. <laughs> Very well, maybe some other time. Very well, Mr. Zilla. Hmm. Until we meet again, Professor Nizu. As yes, that was uh, quite the exchange. As Izuku, he does start freaking out considering that, yes, he's going after Hero Killer. Yes, he's going to get a temporary license. But he's also wondering, okay, so... How are we going to find him? Are we going to be able to save any heroes if we... Don't worry. Or at least... I am very good at tracking. At least we are. Really? How good? Despite my size from before my senses were drastically elevated and though my frame may be lacking its former stature it is more than enough to do what needs to be done oh really yes Oh, well, that, that, that's great. So, uh, you, uh, where do we start? We can start this search tomorrow. If anything, let's get some rest. Uh, uh, oh, okay. If you think that's best, it is. Believe me. You don't need your performance to be hindered in any way, especially due to lack of sleep. Now, let us get to the villains, in which, yeah, Shigaraki is kind of shook. Which is an understatement. Well, all for one is pretty much thinking about, okay, what happened? Which, yeah, is like, um, well, this kid had a powerful quirk, and it took us off guard, he killed Nomu, and no, 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 I get that, but something was different. What do you mean? His ability seemed very reminiscent. Hmm, how, how do you Almost like uh, Godzilla, the hero of humanity, I believe. He, uh, I remember the old stories, <laughs> but I didn't expect to see uh, the power bite sized. Master, <clears throat> it's nothing. But there's also this added uh, interesting tidbit. All Might. 
or you, or you, this, this student, Izuku Midoriya, he attacked All Might from what I hear. Went into a blind rage. Became more like an animal, almost, most likely, <laughs> would have killed him. Well, uh, I find that very interesting. Whatever this quirk is, whatever this power, seems to be very uh, unstable within him for some reason. It seems that he does have some level of control, but he has worked up enough. He goes on a rampage. Uh, well, I would say that was a fair assessment. Yes. Yeah. But what caused him to go unconscious? Could it be a defense mechanism, or at least a fail safe of some kind brought upon by the quirk, or is that something more eternal? What? Uh, I'm sorry, but what could you possibly mean by that? I think it's as similar as uh, dousing a fire. For some reason, he was able to hmm, put out the fire. Don't know how, but it definitely does seem to have saved one All Might's life. Who you knows? You went all out. Or continue the fight. Chances are there'll be bits and pieces of All Might everywhere. Don't you think? Uh oh. Yes, yes, I, I do believe I understand what you're saying. Good. Hmm, but still begs the question. Hmm, what could cause him to black out like that? What are the real limits of this power? God knows how it would be if he were a full size Godzilla. Or at the very least, really let loose. He'd be a very useful ally or a very dangerous enemy. And if he were to go berserk in a facility full of either innocent bystanders, heroes, villains, even me, I'm not sure how I would fare. What? You heard what I said. This boy's quirk, if properly dealt with, or at the very least, handled with care, matured until it's ripe. <laughs> Chances are, one for all would be nothing more than a small enhancement compared to that. So you want to take his quirk? Mm, yes. But I do believe that Berserk State would be uh, a bit problematic to get him under control without knowing how to make him unconscious. There's also the fact that we don't know the full extent of this strength. Even if he wasn't in a berserk rage, he's smart, from what I can tell. He doesn't seem to be all instinct until that berserk Nature takes its course. More like he 
Hmm. Tries to really utilize his power efficiently, which is very admirable given the power he's displayed. However, hmm. so what would you suggest? Learn more about him. The more I know, the better. You know what they say, knowledge is power. The more of it you have, the better. Learn more about this, boy's hmm. Mental state. Anything we could possibly use to get him to snap. But did you say the berserk? Oh, I know what I said. But, here's the thing, when an animal is cornered, he starts hissing, scratching, fighting, like his life depends on it. Yeah, uh, yes, you are very much correct. So. How will that animal react to being saved from such a hmm, problematic situation? Um, I guess they would be grateful. Hmm, they'd be loyal. That's for sure. Uh, but if wait, how would you patience, Kodagiri? Patience. As then Tomarash just burst through the doors and saying, "Okay, we have the stain on our side." What? Yeah, the hero killer. Are you sure that would be a wise decision? Red Tomara, I had no doubt. Hmm. Though, yes, he has made a name for himself killing heroes, but I don't think his and your ideologies would mix quite well. Why, he, he wants to kill heroes? We want to kill heroes? The only thing is we want to kill one specific one right now. What's the harm? <sighs> so naive. Very well, I can suggest that Kodagiri summon a portal towards him, and most likely he would uh, be curious enough to see what's going to happen next. As when it comes to the whole, yeah, the whole uh, meeting, it goes pretty much the same as canon, except Shigaraki's more fidgety. Just having flashbacks of Izuku going beast mode. And, uh, yeah, Stain notices this. He notices the fear, but he also, uh, yeah, you're just a child. You're just a man-child who's living in his own little world. And though, yes, I hate what society's become, at least when it comes to heroes, what you're suggesting sounds like pure chaos and anarchy. Ugh. Not a fan. As yes, that still ends the way you expect it to, just like in canon. One thing is, during the USJ, Izuku, he meets Stain, and Stain just, huh, so, you're, uh, hmm. who are you exactly? Because by this time, Izuku is actually half shifted into Godzilla, 
which yes, he has scales, he has a tail, claws, fangs, and then purry eyes. As he does introduce himself as Godzilla, technically. Really? Yes. You're... <laughs> That's just ridiculous, kid. I I'm sorry, but that is... Ludicrous. Why? <sighs> Tell you what. I'll let you go. And, uh... We just... You know, put this all behind us. You you get to live, and uh, as Izuku just gets into a battle stance on all fours, like, sorry, but I can't. Stain is both impressed at Izuku's determination to capture him, but also, like, don't ruin, don't end your possibly promising career as a hero over this. Izuku in his mind, talking to Godzilla, like, can we beat him? Oh, please, those, those little twigs, those, those things won't even lay a scratch on us. Are you sure? Trust me. And we're just staying his slashing, stabbing, doing whatever he can just to get a single drop of Izuku's blood. The only thing is, yeah, it ain't working at all. It, in fact, his knives start to shatter and chip away as they keep trying to pierce and slash Izuku. To a point where Stain is shocked at this. Izuku sadly lets his guard down for a second. Stain taking this chance and nicking him on the cheek. Because it all inside Izuku's head is pretty much like, You idiot! Never assume that you're going to instantly win a fight until it is over. You're not, your victory is not completely assured until your opponent is down. But you said there's not me, you armor down. Uh, yeah, Stain, he grabs a knife, he licks the blood, but as Izuku starts to seize up, he starts moving again, staying like, what the hell is happening? As he starts to convulse and throw up blood. Him wondering, wait, what's going on? Is, huh, uh, can it explain? Hmm. Ah, irradiated blood. What? <laughs> oh, yes, I... The, that blood it doesn't really is not normal in this form. Your blood is completely irritated when you take on a, you know any form of mine. Heck, even if you have one scale, your blood would be uh, technically compromised and irradiated with my atomic. Energy. So what you're saying is, well, judging from the fact that you got cut, he lit the blood, and you uh, were momentarily paralyzed, it stands to reason that, yes, that's his quirk. That's how he's been able to easily kill off heroes. And, uh, yeah, our blood... Sally doesn't work work with that kind of, you know. Wait, so is he gonna? Die? Hopefully not. But you should call a hospital. In which staying his car off away and Izuku is pretty much. That was a lot easier than I anticipated. It would have been easier if you didn't get cut. Hey, I heal faster. That now, yes, but what if the red blood didn't do a thing and he completely decided to kill you? Well, if he was able to, uh, yeah, didn't think about that, did you? 
can't be so reckless. I know. Do you? Because it seems like you just do what, do your own thing. I'm sorry. It's just that. Uh, I don't. Look, you're a good kid. You have good ideals. I know this. You don't want anyone to get hurt. You, you do this. You do that. But sometimes you're gonna have to. You know. No, I don't. You're at least gonna have to show some force. You're gonna have to, you know, get your hands dirty. Really, really dirty sometimes. And I know you may not like it, but you can't really save everyone. Not everyone wants to be saved. Not everyone can be saved. Do you really believe that? You lived as long as I have. You've witnessed it, it's it can take its toll on you. I just wanted to help people be a hero just like Kong and Mothra. I mean, yeah, people warmed out to me but yeah me being a kaiju that that wasn't easy to gain their trust uh, I'm not gonna lie even I harbored some biases against humans I saw them as destructive greedy overly ambitious if anything as I wondered maybe we were brought here to cleanse this, this world but seeing how people back then still clung to hope that this world could be better coming up with new forms of greener energy try to preserve species instead of eradicating them I decided why not but one thing I what it's just I can never get them to fully put their faith in me I I understand it I do but it's hard I try to protect them from others of my kind I try to reason with the ones I could talk to <sighs> they made you know they made a weapon mauled after me to kill other kaiju it was <sighs> haunting pretty much making me into something I wasn't a, a weapon I'm a living creature who only wants to survive. That's all that mattered. I want. But then I decided to become a protector. To some race that didn't even want me. I. I uh, I'm. It's nothing. And nowadays, I wonder how I would be received if I didn't 
pass on, technically. Why be still celebrate as a hero? Or would they still keep making their weapons? Would they still just look at me like I... I don't belong. Though, yes, I may not be a human. But I still feel... I know what pain feels like. Hopelessness. Helpless. <laughs> you know, that's one thing that I would like for them to know that though we are giant monsters at least to them we're still living beings who want to survive to live happy lives I mean we fight each other we've even killed one another before but not to the extent as we had here it's it's a a lot all things considered just being here now seeing that wow I can technically be a hero here <laughs> it just took me dying and everyone else leaving and me finding someone like you so I can finally fulfill my dream <laughs> what's so funny who would have thought we had the same dream only I aim a little bit higher wanted to be the number one hero yes, I suppose you're right we do share that common goal, wish, to be heroes. <laughs> it's actually funny. Who would have thought? Y yeah. <sighs> Let's head on home. Great for uh, the next day of school, shall we? As then to get a call in which is David and all my. They're pretty much. Have you decided who you want Mothra's vessel to be? You can hear a record scratch, and as well as. Oh crap, we forgot about that, didn't we? Oh man, we, that's right. Mothra needs a well human vessel to reincarnate in. We also gotta make a gate so King Kong can get here. Oh my God, we, there's a lot going on here. But yeah, no need to worry about that right now. We have, let's focus on school. This is what they would like to do. The only thing is, All Might being kind of a yeah, a Godzilla fanboy, big him with okay, yeah. How about we find uh, a suitable candidate for one named, <laughs> you know? Uh, wow, I. Having fans is weird. 
especially considering my history. But uh, who did you have in mind? Wait, really? You, you don't mind having a, a few suggestions? <sighs> well, let's hear it, Mr. Might.